Hello friends. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss about mm -hmm. derivatives of integument. Right? So, in this video, we have to know about, we have to learn about what are the derivatives of the integument. Right? So, in this video, we are going to discuss about integumentary scales or dermal scales. Right? So, which is one of the derivatives of the integument. Right? So, we know that integument. Right? So, integument is nothing but the skin. Right? Skin. If I we all discussed about the integumentary system in our last video, right? So in this video, we are going to discuss about this derivatives of the integument. So in derivatives of integuments, we are particularly choose a scales as one of the derivatives of integument, right? So skin is the largest of order of the our body or any living beings, right? So the first point here states that scales are of two types. Right? So, whatever the scales we have, whatever the scales we get by integuments, they are of two types. One is epidermal and second one is dermal. Okay? So, the scales get derived from the epidermal and they also get derived from the dermal. Right? So, epidermal scales are characteristics of reptiles. They also found in few mammals and birds feet and made of heavy keratinous stratum cornea. Right? So, this epidermal scales are mainly found or first get found in the reptiles. Right? So, they get found in the reptiles and not only in reptiles, they also found in some mammals. Right? And in birds feet, okay? They also found in some mammals and birds feet reason, right? And made of heavily keratinized stratum cornea. Right? We know that. So, in case of in epidermal layer, we have one special layer, okay, one major layer that is nothing but the stratum corneum, which is very tough, very hard, right? And second point is that they overlap in lizards and snakes and fit at edge to edge in tortoise, turtles, and crocodiles, right? So, what here we are saying that they overlap. Means whatever the scales we have, they can get overlap on each other. Where they can get overlap. So here, in case of snakes, right, and in case of lizards, they can overlap on each other. And also they can fit at edge to edge, means side by side, right? So edge to edge means side by side. In case of where in turtles, tur turtles, turquoise, and crocodiles, right? So and second one, third point is that integumentary plates. In this case, we are going to discuss about integumentary plates, right? So integumentary plates are formed by reducing of stratum corneum and dermis, right? And the cells of these layers are get keratinized to form thin, flat, non-living scales. So here point is that the integumentary plates, apart from scales, we are also going to discuss about the integumentary plates. So here the integumentary plates are formed by reducing, okay, by decreasing of stratum corneum which is major, one of the major layer of the epidermis, right, and dermis, okay, dermis which is present just below the epidermis, okay, be be becoming reducing of these two layers, one is stratum corneum, and second one is dermis. Okay, so the reduction of these two layers form this integumentary plates, right? And the cells of these layers, nothing but stratum corneum and dermis. The cells of these layers are get keratinized. Okay, we know that. What do you mean by keratinized? How it is formed? Keratinized is nothing but the the cells lost their protoplasm and become flat. Okay, that is nothing but the keratinized. Okay, so whatever the cells present in stratum cornea and dermis, they are get lost their protoplasm, they will become flat to form a keratinized. Okay, to form a thin, flat, non living scales. Right, and next point epidermal scales in case of snakes can get shed periodically, called epidysis. In rattlesnake, the epidermal scale of the tail modified to form rattles, okay, which consist of series of old dry scales. In this point, we are going to know about epidysis. Okay, what do you mean by epidysis? 
Ecdysis is the natural process found in some reptiles. For example, snakes, right? So epidermal scales in case of snakes, right, can get shed periodically. Means what happens here? In case of snakes, the epidermal scales can shed periodically. They will remove periodically according to the time to time, right? So that's shedding of the skin or shedding of the scale in case of snakes that process is called nothing but ectasis so what do you mean by ectasis it is a process in which the shedding of the scales take place right for the good example is snakes right and in rattlesnake okay we know about this in rattlesnake in rattlesnake what happens epidermal scales of the tail right so epidermal scales of the tail modified to form rattle okay what do you mean by rattle what is this rattle so rattle it is nothing but the, a part of the tail or it is a form of the tail right so modified to form a rattle which consists of that rattle consists of old dried scales right so the point here is so rattle it is made up of old dried scales right so, so rattle it is nothing but the old dried scales it is made up of old dried scales right and next point in case of lizards i the epidermal scales shed off in form of fragments i a new covering of a scale is formed beneath the old one before the latter is shed okay in this point what happens not the shedding of the skin or shedding of the scale not only found in snakes they also get found in some where lizards in case of reptiles also okay so in case of reptiles what happens this epidermal scale can shed in the form of fragments right so what is the major difference between the snakes and these lizards right in same in same cases they are shedding their skin or they are shedding their scales the difference is that in case of snake it will start from inward to outward okay the shedding of the skin takes from takes place from inward to the outward but in case of lizards okay in case of lizards it is non uniform or non continuous or discontinuous or discontinuous okay that take place in the form of fragmentation or fragment by formation of fragment the scales can get shed off okay this process is nothing but the ectasis right so the new covering of the scale is formed okay after ectasis what happens the new covering of the scale will be formed right form beneath the old one okay beneath the old one the new covering of scales the new covering of the scale will be formed right in next point right in crocodiles i mammals in crocodiles and mammals pangolian in mammals it is one of the order the epidermal the epidermal scales are large called as scales which are not shed which are not shed but worn out and replaced again so in this point what we are saying that in case of crocodiles as well as mammals in mammals especially pangolians which is one of the order of the mammals right so in this case what happen the epidermal scales are large okay as compared to the reptiles and fishes whatever it may be so as compared to the rest of the class of the vertebrates in crocodiles okay in crocodiles and mammals we have a large scales comparatively large scales those large scales are called as scales right those are called as scales which are not shed okay in case of snakes and lizards what happens the scales can get shed off periodically but in this case in this case what happens which are not shed off in this case the scales will not shed off periodically or they they will not involve in the ectasis process right but they can worn out okay they can worn out and replace again they will get off okay they will get off and again they will replace again but it is not time to time okay this is not definite okay so this is the of uh, this is the epidermal scales okay epidermal scales are dermal scales of the individual in next point the thing is that in dermal scale development and lichen dermis okay 
they found in some of fishes and some reptiles they are of four types right in this point the dermal scales right so here we are discussing about dermal scales in last point we discussed about epidermal scales right so majorly there are scale present in dermis as well as in epidermis right so in this point we are discussing about the scales which are present in the dermis are which are formed by the dermis right so dermal scales develop and lie in dermis right the point is same that the dermal scales develops in dermis and they also lie in the dermis right they are found in some fishes and some reptiles okay so they are of four types in case of fishes right so dermal scales they are get originate from dermis and they also lie in dermis right so those dermal scales are found in fishes as well as in reptiles right so in case of fishes there are four types of dermal scales right so first one is that uh, first one is here placoid scales right and second one is here gonads uh, gonad scales and third one is here cycloid scales right and fourth one is thinner scales right so these four are the types of the dermal scales in case of fishes right we will see one by one so first one is placoid scales right only found in cartilage fishes each consist of basal plates embedded in dermis and bearing a spine that projects through dermis okay so point is here is the placoid scales are only found in cartilage fishes this is the point and each consist of basal plates okay see diagram is here this is the placoid scales okay so basal plates this is nothing but the basal plate right so this basal plate is get embedded in the dermis right so this basal plate get embedded in the dermis and also bears the spines right so these are nothing but the spines here some spines are present those are nothing but the spines they will expel out they will project out through dermis okay they will come out through dermis this is about the placoid scales right and second one is gonad scales in gonad scales what happen these are diamond shaped and closely arranged found in polypterous and lepis or spaces right so in this case what happen this gonad scales are looks like diamond shaped okay they have the diamond shaped shape structure for example here this one like this they have the somewhat diamond shaped structure and they are closely arranged right like this and again one diamond shaped gonad scale will be happen and here one like this so like this they are get closely arranged scales okay so they are found in polypterous like fishes and lepisostaceous right they will find in these two kinds of fishes and third one is cycloid scales right so they are circular and have a smooth margin they found in carps and similar fishes okay the point is here is cycloid scales are looks like circular okay they will looks somewhat circular or spherical see the structure here this one cycloid scales they looks like circular okay they have circular like arrangement like this this one they have circular like arrangement they are nothing but the scales right they are circular and have a smooth margin they have the very smooth margin okay they have smooth margin and they found in carps carps are nothing but the a class of fishes okay they, they, uh, they are like fishes some of the fishes and similar fishes right and fourth fourth one is tinoid scales right so here they are rough they are rough are spiny posterior border they have occur in most tinoids fishes right so here what happens this tinoid scales are very rough okay very hard are spine right and posterior border they have for example here 
Pinoid scales. Okay, their posterior border are have rough and spine, right? They occur in most of telos fishes, right? They will mainly found in the telos fishes. Okay, so this is regarding about derivatives of implement. That is one of the implement is we have discussed there is scales. Okay, so this is about the brief account of the. integumental scales are dermal scales of the fishes